Welcome to the Detroit King channel. Hey everyone, it's the Detroit King. After a brief hiatus, I'm back with a bang. Get ready for new content, exciting new adventures, and plenty of surprises. Thanks for sticking around. Let's dive back into it. Let's go. Hey, hoy there. Have you heard about the utopia of the seas? This is a cruise ship so big that if it were to participate in a marathon, it would still be crossing the starting line while the other runners are receiving their finisher medals. Utopia of the Seas, the latest addition to Royal Caribbean's Oasis class series, plans to set sail on July 22nd. Forget second place in a local talent show. This ship is set to be the world's second largest cruise ship. It's so enormous, it could give a skyscraper an inferiority complex. This floating city can accommodate up to 6,700 passengers in 2,830 cabins. That's more rooms than the biggest hotels in Las Vegas, and just slightly fewer than the number of selfies taken on the average cruise. With its launch, the ship plans to offer short and sweet three and four night itineraries to the Bahamas from Port Canaveral. Stops will include perfect day at Coco Cay, where they've somehow managed to squeeze in the word day twice. Now, you might think, with so many passengers, how will they all fit in the pool? Well, fret not, there will be multiple pool areas. And if you're worried about food, don't be. The ship will boast various dining options. It's like a food festival, but you're on water and there's no escape. The utopia of the seas, is not just any ship, it's a ship of firsts. It will introduce new features like solarium suites and virtual balconies. Yes, you heard it right, virtual balconies for when you want to enjoy the sea without the pesky seagulls. There will also be specialty dining venues such as Royal Railway and 150 Central Park. They say the food is so good, it might just make you forget you're in the middle of the ocean. In conclusion, the utopia of the seas is not just a ship. It's a floating city, a food festival, a hotel, and an adventure park all rolled into one. So, whether you're an enthusiast of the high seas or just someone who enjoys a good laugh, remember, utopia of the seas is more than just a ship. It's a titanic experience that won't sink your holiday plans. Thank you for tuning in and be sure to subscribe to the channel.